Hello everybody, hello Amber Mods group. You certainly saw that Sebastian released a new mod, the Phil Mechanical Squonker, and I thought it might be a good idea to show you some details. So for those who already own one or ordered one, to get some hints, some tips, some close-up shots, and for those who don't have one yet or are thinking about it, uh, get a get an idea uh, how the feel looks like, how it's made, and so on. If you are a pro or a veteran, you sure already know many of the things I'm gonna say, so don't worry, it's with the best intentions in mind. Okay, so let's have a closer look. Okay, here we are for the first chapter. What do you get when you order fill? This nice black box. Unluckily, uh, a drop box is not included, but it's still the nice black box. Let's look inside. Season wishes. Your authenticity card with your serial number. Of course the mod itself. The bottles Sebastian uses currently are um, those from Sunbox in cooperation with Infinity Mods, the Cappy R full silicone bottles. You get one spare. One is installed in the mod. One set of panels is on the mod. And here you get a second set of panels. These are the standard ones uh, from Delrin and stainless steel. Carbon plates and maybe wooden plates are an option. Okay, next up let's talk about the mod itself. It's a full mechanical mod. I stripped it down and already removed the two screws. So let's talk about mechanical first. You know, mechanicals need to be cleaned at one point of time or another. In this case I think it takes a pretty long time until you notice any significant drop in voltage. So this is not an everyday job. If you notice a significant drop then it's time to clean. What do you need to clean? Uh, the symbol, like with any other mechanical, the battery tube threads, the battery cap threads, the battery contact, the inside battery contacts, those are made from pure silver. And it's a very heavy duty spring. And of course the switch. The switch is located underneath the top plate. I already removed two, these two screws. Then you just, after removing the screws, you lift it up gently. And you can see inside. So you see the 510 with the cabling attached. So you need to clean this contact plate and this silver contact plate. But please, uh, the, as with cleaning of cars, of guns, of anything, uh, please bear in mind cleaning does not mean destroying. <laughs> cleaning means cleaning. So with a cotton bud with alcohol on it or a contact cleaner something like that don't use abrasive uh, harsh things like for instance this scotch pad it's very abrasive it's ideal to polish things up or to clean battery contacts it's perfect for that but please don't use something like that on the delicate contacts. 
that's absolutely not necessary. Completely contraproductive. Just clean them, don't destroy them. So when you finish cleaning, just gently put everything together. It's in fact very easy. The only thing to bear in mind is not to crush or squeeze the cable. So in the end everything should fit flush and you can reattach the screws. Seeing someone screwing can be entertaining, but I guess in this case it's not. So we see us in a minute. Okay, so I almost finished screwing in. Remember, this takes some time. The threads are very fine on the screws, so the, you need to turn a lot of times and do that firmly and gently in a steady motion. Don't jam it in. It's a very fine threading. It comes to a natural stop. Don't overdo it. And you notice when you're done, when the two screws are sunk in a little bit, that's when it's complete. You see the ember mods badge in silver attached on the top plate. Recheck the cables are not crunched or squeezed. Check the, the button. Yes, it works. So you're done. And remember, we don't need to do this all the time. This is not an everyday job. Okay, for the 510. This is a fully custom 510 from Sebastian. It's spring loaded. I hope you can see that. Focus, focus, focus. Makes a very nice and firm connection. From the other side, a pretty big nozzle, but it's good. So bottles attached are really tight. Okay, the next thing we talk about is panels. The panels are very easy to attach. It's self-explanatory. They all have four very strong magnets. Just fill them in. Done. If you want to remove panels, my best tip is to take the pinky, lift up, remove, and the reverse here. Lift up, remove. Just an example for the metal ones. That's it. Nothing rattles. Bomb tight. Okay, next thing we talk about is bottles. We already talked about the bottles. It's the KPR for silicon. From sandbox around eight milliliters something like that um, my best tip for that bottle is 
keep in mind that the threads and the cap is dry and not stenched with liquid, really dry. And when you close it, do it finger tight until it stops. Then it's okay. Don't overdo it. You can of course turn and then the threads uh, jump apart and it screws in again. Don't do that. Just do it finger tight, then it's a perfect seal. Okay, let's talk about alternatives. Alternatives are, for instance, the Sunbox V4 Compact. Of course, that also fits. Or another nice silicon example, the Lucos Silk. And you already see all the silicon bottles, when they have a soft body like this, they stick. So with every silicon bottle, also in the fill, pinch and pull down straight, because when it angles, you don't get it out. Or uh, take the help of a grip band to pull. That's another possibility. However, I would recommend to enjoy the perfect seal of the silicone tubing and use a refill kit with all the silicone bottles. Just my opinion. The other option would be uh, standard bottles like uh, the Super Soft. They of course also fit. Or the mod maker eight and eight and a half milliliter also very nice bottle and you see instantly what I mean or you notice this personally they're semi semi soft not adhesive and those bottles are really ideal if you want to remove them and fill them up directly so I would suggest super soft mod maker something like that if you want to remove the bottle often. Okay, so that was the bottles. We install it later. Let's talk about the, the body and maintenance. So the fill is made of Delrin, which is a thermoplastic polymer. Uh, you sure know the, the short name, the abbreviation POM. Uh, several kinds of POM, POM-H, POM-C and so on, but they're all polymer plastics with high rigidity and with a microcrystalline structure. So you maybe know another one like this. The Gloom, for instance, has a very similar material. And as uh, it's a crystalline structure, they tend to go a little white or white or white tint over time. So what do you do about that? Uh, there's really one good advice. For polymer take a silicon spray. So that means don't take any spray, don't take armor all don't take any abrasive fluids, don't take any wax, don't polish, don't micro mesh and all that, all that stuff that's for wood. Don't do that. Just use silicone spray. So rub it in. Take a cloth, wipe it off. Or let it sit for some minutes. That's it. That way 
it it continues to have uh, continues to have the that nice black shine and that's the simply the best for this material in the long run once again silicone spray okay um, I will install the bottle next and then let's talk about batteries so just filling it up quickly Uh, one small detail, if you miss your serial number on the film because they are serialized, uh, don't worry. That's on the cap of the bottle. Focus, focus, focus. That's there. I can't get it to focus, but you get the idea. That's on the bottle cap. Uh, for the caps in general, you can either use a screwdriver or a small coin or just fingers. The grooves are really nice. Okay, bottle is installed. Yeah, batteries. Uh, it's intended for 2700, and you can, of course, use 18650 as well. So, for 18650, you can use an adapter or what I like to do just some plastic foil. You often get that with uh, tube mods. And you can leave that in there, no problem. And this prevents rattle. So you have a normal 18650, put it in. Let's attach an Eddie. We have positive first and negative on the bottom. What happens if I reverse it with the fill? The answer is nothing. Uh, you maybe know many Macs who insist or really need a certain battery orientation. The fill does not need it. You can insert it either way. So that's your standard 18650. If you have an 18650 with this on top, so just put it in. That's flexibility. Okay, let's take the foil out. 
Let's take uh, 2700. And when you insert, you notice this is slight wiggle. There's still one millimeter left. That means Depending on the rep of upcom upcoming 21700s, also those fit. So you have all the flexibility of free battery sizes. To preview again for the battery orientation, this 2700, we reverse it. It's positive up. Now we do minus up. attach a plate and end it. Okay, you've seen all the details. So this is how it looks fully assembled. Another thing to note, the last thing, uh, the switch itself. I hope I can demonstrate you. It has an extremely light press. It's really extremely, extremely light. But with the angle, it's really comfortable. Or the other way around. It's a fantastic mod. Um, one thing I almost forgot, this is a 22 with a beauty ring. Let's try 24. Let's take a flave, a big flave. So that's a 24. There's still some room left. Looks really nice, even with the bigger ones. Uh, I will post up some pictures in various groups with different etis, so we have some some uh, beauty shots in detail where you can see it better. Okay, uh, I hope this helped you a little bit, and you got to know the fill a little better and learn to love it. <laughs> like I do and have a nice Christmas and bye bye